Hello Craft, Wanda here. Happy Sunday evening. And tonight I am live on Facebook and I didn't tag a soul. <laughs> I need to do some experimenting to see um, what I can and cannot post on YouTube. As you know, I've been having a little bit of trouble. So we are probably going to, most of you will probably catch this on the replay and uh, that's okay. I may have to start going back to um, pre-recording and then posting. I sure do like hanging out live with you though, so I will try, you know, to scoot in and do some live with the pre-recorded stuff. But it looks like I may have to just do less lives than more pre-recorded stuff. Oh my gosh, right? I might die. <laughs> okay, that's pretty, that's, that's too much, but you know. Anyways, so tonight I want to play around with, ta-da, splashing around some watercolor and a tattoo and <laughs> I know I'm kind of stuck on the 3D thing but I was thinking a few petals on the lotus flower maybe bringing it off of the rock what do you think yay or nay with the 3D because we can just do some normal you know stuff if you want <laughs> so obviously this is bigger than my rock so I'll be trimming off these two parts of this tattoo so I'm going to go ahead and get this down because we're going to have to spray it and let it dry before um, we can work on it. So to splash this color down, hello everyone, sorry no tagging tonight and no notice, I'm experimenting with Facebook and YouTube. So this, uh, a lot of you will probably have to catch it on the replay like I said but it's so nice to see all of you back again after hanging out for three hours with me and Katie last night that was you guys are troopers I'm telling you wow that was quite the class wasn't it <laughs> it was so much fun though I even got blisters I got blister <laughs> but I don't think they're from the glue I think they're from so many rhinestones <laughs> we blinged it up <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take some of this, is the neon watercolor palette that I made. I also have this other watercolor palette I'm working on making. I have the first and the first pour in it. You have to do more than one pour to fill a pan. So I have the first pour and they're still drying just a bit, but if I need any other colors, I'll just pop in here and grab some. So all of these are my homemade ones. Isn't that funny? I just love making paint. You can always tell when I'm stressed out, I make lots of paint. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stressed out, though. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put those off in the back and shut up so we can paint. Refocus a little bit here. So, happy Sunday, everyone. I'm going to grab a bit of clean water here. And I'm literally going to just scribble a little bit on my rock here with these watercolors. Just plop them on there. Add water. One hand. I'm going to be two-handed here. And I'm just going to use an old round brush to grab some other water. Re uh, wet my rock here a bit. I'm also going to be using a straw to move some of the water around a bit to see what we get. Okay, just a damp rock so it's not so hard to spread. <laughs> it must be, right? <laughs> Thanks, Julie. All right, just plopping some color in there, like I said. I like these when they mix together, they make this really pretty purple. Okay. 
So I'm just moving it with the just a cheapy straw with a bendy end. And that is no new technique. That is, I don't, who knows who came up with that one a million years ago, but it's a widely used technique using a straw to move paint around. It, you can use it for paint, resin, resin art. You know, sometimes you paint with resin. I'm adding some very fluorescent yellow over here. I'm hoping we get some bright orange up in here where these two connect. Sometimes it goes brown, so we'll see here. Yeah, a little bit brown. <laughs> so I could fix that with some actual orange. I love these neon colors. They're so vivid. Now you have to be careful with those two because they will definitely make brown. I like to pull color through light color and give it like a trailing kind of. There is no method to the madness here tonight. <laughs> So I popped on my personal channel for a minute, just a minute ago. You guys probably saw that. It was a another test. I'm hoping I'll have all this wrapped up soon and understand the ins and the outs of the lives and where is the best place to broadcast for everybody and how in the heck to notify you guys. That is where I'm struggling the most is with notifications. If I choose to notify you guys, then I can't upload these videos to YouTube because it's a private group. If I do it from my group, um, it it's different. Like I don't have, you know, the whole group in there. I don't have 2,800 friends, so I miss the opportunity to spend time with everyone. So I don't know. I just don't know. Head rush. <laughs> okay, Whew. let's do some green. Get some breath. I know I like mixing color on my rock. I'm lazy. I should mix it in my pan and then do it appropriately, but I'm the rule breaker, right? Hi, Michelle, Leslie. Let's see who I got here. 
Michelle, Leslie, Beverly, Julie, Debbie, Teresa, Susan, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, D. Nice. Hello, everyone. Right. And what goes this way? Let's see. my head in the way when I do that. I hope not. <laughs> okay, let me check with my image that I'm going to be putting on here. I just want to make sure that it is covered. I think I'll do it this way, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add a little more down here. Two days detention. Ooh, if that's all I get, I'm taking it. Detention is a break. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like going to Walmart sometimes. It's like vacation. <laughs> right? Okay, I'm good. You good? We good. Um. <laughs> All right, we are going to put this one aside with the fan on, let it dry. I'm trying to get the big puddles out so it'll dry faster. That turned out pretty dang good. What do you guys think? Yes. And those, my friends, are the nail powders that we turned into neon watercolors. Um, I think it was a couple weeks ago now. I'll give you a review of those. If you want to brush up on that, um, I don't think I posted that one on YouTube. It's in the group somewhere. We can find it and I'll tag you. Or link it, not tag you. Sorry. Okay, fan on. So while that's drying, I'll go ahead and trim up the tattoo. Now it's inside a cellophane, or a, I don't know, it's inside a plastic package. And then I believe it has, yeah, it has a cover, a protective sheet on it. So what I'm going to do is cut out this bit here. Not because I don't love it, I do, but my rock is not long enough to accommodate it. So instead of having a weird drop off, I'm going to get rid of this part and trim as close to my tattoo as I can. I'm gonna pull this up just a bit. Hi, Laura. And then I'm going to get rid of this one down here. 
this piece here. And then cut as close to the tattoo as I can, leaving on that protective film. Because the tattoos are a bit sticky and you don't want to, oops, get back up there. You don't want to mess up that um, transfer. So, Also, uh, this is a tattoo which requires water to transfer it. So I bet you're wondering how... How am I going to put this on watercolor without the watercolor going bleh, right? Okay. So to um, address that, you want to spray your rock. This has been sprayed with Rust-Oleum 2X Matte Clear. Okay. This is, has one coat on it. It's not a lot. But it's enough that I can get my tattoo on there without the paint just dis dissipating. So we do have to let that dry and then give it a spray and the spray dries in like two minutes so no worries guys I promise it's not going to be a three hour deal. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> uh, anyways while that's going on I think we'll make this a, a, a kindness rock and I'm going to drop this somewhere but I'm not in the mood to do some hand lettering so I'm going to use some rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree since I have um, so many to use. Hang on guys, I got them here. I had them out and then I put them away. <laughs> All right, so I have these. This is my favorite set that they have because though they're close, they're spaced far enough apart where I can use all the words. It makes sense, though some of it doesn't make sense. It makes sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm so glad you guys get me. <laughs> okay, this is another one they have that I don't like, and you can see why. It's a... Uh, doesn't make any sense right how can you use those every I, I can't see how we can use them unless we fussy cut everything out and then we lose 50% at least of this so even though it's only a dollar it's not a good buy so you see the difference whoever designed this one was in a big old hurry <laughs> and then I have this one that's um, partially used but I do love this. What should we put on here? So we have this much room. Let's see. Feeling good. It's funny, I was just listening to that song. And I'm feeling good. Bom, bom. <laughs> Life isn't perfect, but your outfit can be. No, we're not going to do a style rock. I want to do a nice rock. Like, calm, I don't know, something. What should we put here? Laughter. What do you guys see? Hi, Terry and Debbie. Who else is on? And Susan. Leslie and Karen. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I think... Oh, I'm having trouble picking. Embrace happiness. I've done that one before. Can do... Grace. Where is it? Oh, my gosh. There it is. Oh, right in the middle. Duh. Grace. We can do grace. Okay, hold that thought. Or keep looking. So right now we got to vote for great, uh, Grace and Explore. I also have this set. Hey, Matt. That's one, two, three Explores, one Strength, and one Grace. And I also have these that we can, you know, 
add around to fill in the the embrace. That's a good one to embrace. What's a two word one? Like, uh, give. Hi, Shay. <laughs> Embrace kindness. I like that. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so there it was kindness. I saw it. Kindness. Oh, they're the same font, too. Is there another kindness in here? How funny. I think we could do that. Looking for the scissors. Give grace. That's pretty. Forever us. I love that, too. Oh, my gosh. Now, here we go. Now I'm all confused again. Careful now. <laughs> If you see smoke coming out, I'm overloaded. Uh, oh no. La la. Is there a have? Is there a word have in here? Anybody see it? I like. <laughs> Fear the journey. That's that's not right, huh? <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Oh, I like it. Forever friends. Or, what did it say? Wait, embrace friends, friends forever. <laughs> Fear the journey. I'm sorry. <laughs> or journey less. This is funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, celebrate the journey, maybe. Or, let me look at that again. All right, let me take this out of the uh, cellophane thingy. <laughs> I know you guys get a kick out of it. I'm here all week. <laughs> okay, we're going to do journey. So we're actually doing two rocks tonight, right? I don't know if the is part of it, but we're going to bring it out. <laughs> okay, what was the other word? Embrace the journey or embrace kindness or they're all the same font. That's funny. How crazy is that? I got one. Embrace hope. As you know, hope is something, boy, it can make or break your day, right? I think that, you know, lately in life, at this stage, you know, we go through stages in our lives like when we, the older we get and Things change, life changes, retirement happens, children get older, and our hormones, whatever the things are, we have to remember to hold on to our joy. Don't let, it's up to us to maintain that joy. So if we let someone get in there and steal our joy, then we have to work diligently to repair that. And know that that's on us. We can't blame. It's hard because I do it all the time. <laughs> Dream, embrace. Hi, Daphne. Okay, so kindness is here.
Yes, Joy, Laura, very, very true. Joy is a choice. Grace, kindness. Yes, I'm liking that. Let's do that. Embrace kindness. Is there an and? Do we see an and? That's okay. I can write and. I think I can handle the word. What do you think? You guys think I can do it? <laughs> I'm going to add joy. Embrace kindness and joy. Or joy and kindness. Is that one good? The Lord. <laughs> okay, here we go. Embrace joy, and I will put and here. Uh, Daphne, these are the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to say that with the word unfortunately because they're highly coveted, hard to find. But if any of you out there find them, um, buy them in mass. I'll help with that. <laughs> and then we can get you guys some words. <laughs> uh, and if I see more, I'll, I'll definitely scoop them up and spread them around for sure. I don't see any answer. Okay, I'm going to be done with that. All right, I'm going to sit here all night looking at it. All right, popsicle stick. Got to have that because, you know, I went crazy with a dotting tool one time and made a huge disaster out of things. <laughs> it was a little aggressive. All right, two seconds. out the window. Don't worry. <laughs> no worries. Plus we're going to put the fan on it. And I got PPE, so. Let me show you. Glove up, mask up, all that stuff. It's important. Okay, so embrace. We'll put here. So these separate also, there's a top and a bottom. Now this particular set, some of them like the gold ones, are white paper, gold writing. And it's weird for some reason when you separate them, it's different. But So we're gonna go clear paper, black writing, and this is sticky, so be careful where you touch. And then pop it where you want it. I'm gonna do one at a time so I don't damage. And it's just like when you were a kid, the rub-on transfers. And these are hard to find, like other than the Dollar Tree. I don't see them much anywhere. I hope that went down, it's not looking good. <laughs> Now this is sort of like how I, when I do my foils, I lift up uh, slowly because I don't want to break the letters. Okay. Make sure they're attaching well. So lift up slow so you don't tear them. They're very delicate, like, like less than paper thin. Very good. Good transfer. Perfect lettering every time. Oh, 
Oh wait, which way was I doing this? That's right, joy. And then I'm going to put and over here. I didn't take a picture of it. Except for I'm using my picture taker. Does that look straight? Maybe. Oh, it needs to be lower, huh? Just uh, giving it a nice rub with the stick. Make sure it's, you know, make sure you've rubbed like all the parts of the word. Very good. I get excited when it works. <laughs> There's a 50-50 chance here. Probably more like a 20-80. <laughs> I mess things up often. All right. And I'm going to put kindness down here. I think we're dry. Cool. That was fast, huh? See, I told you. Oh, see? Gotta make sure that's down. That's why we go slow. The film is hard. It's like a firm film, so it's hard to gra grab it. Oh, we have a little damage on the S, but that's okay. Can be fixed easily with a pen or paint and a small brush. All right, might be able to fix it. There. And then and is, uh, let's see, and goes backwards, right? So if that's an S, then and would go, right? Is that an and? Is that right? I think so. Or I could do the three, huh? I'm going to put that one to the side until I make up my mind. Let's add our tattoo. Hi, Linda. So this one is the water um, activated tattoo and I'm going to put it on actually this this way so the flowers up in here like so. I'm going to remove, yep I had it right, nice. How about that? Thank you Karen. Okay, so this has a film also, we're going to remove that and it's opposite of the rub-on transfers as the image is on the cardboard white part and the sticky goes face down on your right. Look, it looks like a tree of life. Look at that. Can you see it? Now I want to make a tree. Hmm. 
I'm going to work it. We're going to have a tree of life in the lotus flower, which is pretty huge. Those two things together, that's pretty, pretty big. Pretty big deal. That looks about straight, right? It's hard to tell. Look through it. You can kind of see through it, yeah? So that helps a bit to straighten things out. Okay, we're just going to do it. Fingers crossed. Okay, so you want to take some clear water. Or as clear as you got. Not your paint water. Don't let me do that. All right, clear water. I use a brush just to control it, especially, I did spray it, but you know, since I'm live, it'll probably bleed down the rock. <laughs> I'm telling you how great rust -Oleum is. It really is, I promise. I think I'm actually going to grab the pipette and it takes quite a bit of water on these big ones. And this one goes all the way to the edges. Okay, so I'm going to use the brush and spread it around. Make sure it's really pressed down there where you want it. Hi, Robin. I'm being super careful uh, not to go off of the paper right now because even though we gave it a spray, that is watercolor. All right, very carefully, I'm going to lift and see if the transfer is happening. It is. Okay. Usually I would slide, but on these big ones, when you slide, it moves other parts of them. So it's better to make sure it's really, really, really wet and then gently remove it. And then if you have to even out some of the pieces of it with a brush, like this here, make sure your brush is really, really wet and lay it back down with your brush. And you'll notice like a slimy, it's a slick slimy feeling there. That's good because you need that for the proper release of the tattoo. Nice. Ooh, that looks good. And our paint. Our paint looks good too, right? Oh, see down here? Just pull it back together, grab some water. We're a little crooked. All right, it's going to live that way. No biggie. Not too bad considering how big it was. It's a little off in crookedness, but what do you guys think? Yes. <laughs> it's a win. It's a win-win. Okay, so now, make sure you get rid of that. You can pat it gently you try to use something non linty so if you have like a lint free something this is a shop towel which is low lint I wouldn't call it lint free but and don't rub at all just pat Okay, now I'm going to use some Mod Podge. I'm just going to stick it in my Mod Podge and then 
I have really sopping water on my brush. I'm going to make it really kind of soupy. Really very soupy. And then basically you're sealing your tattoo so that you can work on it if you want to. And it won't move, crack, break. So if you want to add foil, layers of paint, you know, once Mod Podge dries, it's pretty safe to do anything on top of it. Also, tattoos, uh, resin likes to move off tattoos as well. So I think it might be that gel, whatever that slimy stuff is, resin doesn't like it. It's not all resin either, it's just some. And it's not every time. All right, give that. I'm gonna go ahead and seal the watercolor again. Just to make sure. I love how vivid it is on the Santorini. Ooh, so good. Hi, Pam and Yvonne. Teresa and Teresa. All right, I think we are settled here. Okay, fan back on. And we are, what is that called? Uh, multitasking here tonight. Move this one back over here. And, and, put the and. Have to negotiate it first. <laughs> Let's see, because I want it to be kind of big. I think I like that. Do you like that one? I think I'm going to do that. It goes against everything in me because it's like a backwards S. again and then there are some bits on here and this other one. Oh, they look like this oh it's the same <laughs> okay well so we have these pretties or, you know, I can just put those on there. But you can just, you know, if you're really, really not feeling like doing any kind of hand lettering or writing or anything, just, you know. Which way should we go here? Go this way. And we'll start up here. And we're basically going to do loops, like so. Thank you, Karen. And we're going to keep them kind of narrow. Getting bigger as we go down the stem.
Now I'm getting smaller again. And then we'll do some little sprigs. Let's see. Laura, this is a Posca 1MR black PC 1MR pin type 0.7. And it's a nib. Just a little, it's kind of like a felt tip nib, but it's a little bitty one. So we'll put, um, let's see, maybe over here. We'll do. Boy, I'm so undecided tonight. Uh, we'll go this way. I'll start up here again. Loop. All right, check over here, still a bit damp. What else should we put in here? Uh, that's supposed to be a leaf. So, you know, just some bits and whatevers, you know, and then you can just do like little stars or what would those be? Things, <laughs> little bits and things, maybe some little bundles of dots trailing off somewhere. I'm going to put three rhinestones there later. So that's an easy rock for dropping for kindness. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> How sweet. Teresa, thank you. Tell your granddaughter I said thank you. Teresa's granddaughter said it's absolutely perfect. How sweet is that? See? Joy. Spread joy, get joy. Comes around, goes around, right? All right. What is your granddaughter's name, Teresa? Do you live here? Where do you live, <laughs> first of all? Are you U.S., Teresa? Teresa Matson. Right, this one's good. Hi, Allison. Yes, what's your granddaughter's name, Teresa? Lyric. Ooh, what a beautiful name. Ooh, I like that. All right, let's see. L Y R I Q Oops, where'd it go? U E. Okay. Q U E. All right, two lyric. PM me your address, Teresa. So when I'm doing the writing, I kind of plan it out a bit first. And I am no pro at hand lettering, but it's the main rule is thin up strokes, thick down strokes. So you fatten them up when you're coming, when you come down.
and then they're thin up strokes, thick down strokes. go <laughs> oh I'm so happy that I met lyric tonight thank you Teresa thank you lyric embrace joy and kindness this is my kindness rock for you I'm gonna let that dry PM me your address and I will ship that out for lyric So on this other guy, I'm going to also add some rhinestones after this side dries. I'm going to add um, some rhinestones in here to make that blingy. You're very welcome. So this is a lotus flower, which is my, I love lotus flowers. I'm going to go ahead and sign my art so it can dry. I always forget to sign. And uh, should we foil or just bling it? Well, I am the foiling rock lady. I guess foil. We should foil. Ooh, I have an idea. Foil away. My favorite. I always say they're my favorite. They're all my favorite, right? Oh, guys, I gotta show you. So I have some pretty great foils coming in a second shipment. So those should be here within the next week or two. And um, I'll be able to start shipping out foil again. Sorry about the lull. But look at this new one. This is one, there's going to be some new styles this time. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a like a bronzy, coppery crackle. Isn't that pretty? That's one. <laughs> I've got the others um, in pictures. I only have a sample of this one. Thank you, Lori. So I love this foil here, which I don't get to um, have this one to distribute. But it's so beautiful. And there's, whoops. I gotta turn my fan off. I'm blowing away here. Let's see, there's many. So I'm thinking I want to do some foil in the leaves. I was going to do 3D off the rock, too, or no. I don't know. Or should we do leopard print? I think I like this leopard print here. No. Not that one, maybe this one. It looks so different on camera. You guys are like, yes, yes, that one. This one, you guys, a while back, I don't, it might be in the guides in the group. If you can see, can you see the tiger space right here? The ears, here's the pointy ears. Forehead. Nose, mouth, eyes. I made a little tiger because I saw a tiger in there. So I made a little tiger and then foiled over it. It was perfect. <laughs> uh, Deborah has a great question. She is asking, is there any special things you have to do when resining over the rub-on or tattoo? Very good question. So in order to seal rub on tattoos or foils you really need to either spray mod podge something like that try to steer clear of duraclear i know my earlier tutorial tutorials do talk about using duraclear and it does work sometimes and in the beginning when i was first starting out it was my go-to but i started noticing either the foils were changing or duraclear was changing because the foils started cracking when duraclear would dry the foils would it would leave 
little cracks all over it. So steer clear of DuraClear for foils and for tat definitely for tattoos. It, it crackles them right off of the rock. So stick with a matte or Mod Podge. You can use Liquitex matte medium also. Or this is just a matte gel. This is the the gel paste, but you can use the liquid just fine too. You could even use PVC glue like Elmer's or whatever just as a sealer. And then you can resin as as long as it's very, very dry. You can resin. Go to cr go crazy. This one. This is the one. Okay, we're going to do this one. I'm going to put these back. Hi, Belinda. So, I think, yeah, we'll foil the flower and maybe make a couple of petals that pop off the rock. And, because uh, we got to be extra. <laughs> okay. I save these little bits because I use little tiny parts sometimes. And, if you're wondering, that's a dryer sheet. Always nice to have that tucked in because these are very staticky. All right, you must wear gloves or we can't be friends. So I'm going to be using Beetle's Nail Art Foil Glue to apply the foils. And the 6 watt Mac Art light and the torch light, 12 LED. The brand is not important. This is no longer available, or it might be somewhere, but it's not on Amazon. Um, I cannot link it or tag it. Facebook doesn't allow it. I don't know what their deal is against UV flashlights, other than possibly maybe because they're uh, protein. They spot proteins, which can be bodily fluids, so maybe that. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, though, that they block that. So I'm just going to cut off a bit here. And so here's my idea. I'm going to foil in the petals and then um, see how the color graduates. It's a gradient. I'm going to put that in there. So I'm going to be using an, a um, disposable eyeliner brush. I'm going to put some of my foil glue in the dish. Oh, somebody's shooting off fireworks out there. That scared me. <laughs> Shame on them. All right, I hope that's fireworks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I am going to start in the center. It's definitely fireworks. The sky is lighting up. Here in Texas, they are uh, legal. I'm at just outside of the city limits in the county, so here we go. <laughs> And they sell them right up the road, every occasion you could think of. So I'm going to go every other petal and do the foil that way, just so I can maintain uh, the separation between the leaves. Petals. Sorry. And then I'll go back and do the ones in between those. It doesn't have to be perfect.
Okay, I'm going to cure those three petals. That's a 60 second light. And let's uh, check this. We will add these rhinestones. I'm going to use Bondic, the Bondic tool. So cool. It has a little UV light attached to it. Look at that. Uh, right. And UV glue here. You can use a top coat adhesive, a uh, top coat. You can use, oops, also that comes off like that if you need to use a lot. But you should just pull off the lid and there's like a needle applicator here so you can do little spots of glue and it's a UV bonder. So now I can just take my rhinestone here and sit them on. The Bondic, it's called Bondic, B-O-N-D-I-C, and then hit it with the light. It doesn't have to be this light, but since it's handy, you know. It also gets into little places, which is so nice. If you guys watched the other day when I did the dragonflies and encrusted all of the rhinestones around them, I used this tool. For all of those up in there and it so makes it easy focus see all those guys in there I mean we got up in there with them come on focus I don't know why this thing didn't there we go they're up under there and in there anyways that was fun wasn't it so boom and it really is fast you don't need it on there very long I think I just cured my glue. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so now there's some rhinestones. <laughs> Julie. I'll set a link for it after I'm done. It's called Bondic. And this is a gift from Lonnie. Jero, very sweet, very handy for tutorials. Thank you so much, Lonnie. And I'm gonna pop this on like so. Get three in one here, and use a Q-tip and or the um, silicone tip tool. And these, this particular set of foils are super easy. They, they release really easy. I wish I could get my hands on these for you guys. But they're really inexpensive on Amazon, so there's no need for, you know, that. It would end up costing us all more in the long run. Aren't they pretty? So I'm doing the in-between petals now, and I think I'm going to change the pattern. What do you think about a blue floral flower in there? And there's a little tiny petal here I'm going to do also. Alright, I'm going to 
go gather these. <laughs> so I'm thinking, not the peacock, but look at that. It has peacocks in this set. Can you see those peacocks? Um, yes, please. <laughs> right? I still haven't figured out what to use them on, though. <laughs> but they're so beautiful. Ah, we got to figure it out, huh? Uh, where'd they go? Here they are. These blue flowers. Do we like these? Mm, maybe not, huh? Dang, you know, the peacocks might be. It might, it, it's not going to be like the, the whole bird, but I think I like the, the design in there. Yes. All right, let's see. We're going to put some tail feathers on the lotus flower here. Let's see how this turns out. And we'll go like that and and then this middle one here whoops That looks really pretty. So I'm just going to take the Posca and redefine a bit here. You know, it's kind of controversial uh, to use tattoos and whatnot. Or I've been hearing that. It's not is what I'm. my point is. Do not feel nervous or anything like that about it. It is your art. It's somebody else's artwork. But when you take it and make it your own, nothing wrong with that. What do you think a tattoo artist does? A lot of them create their own work, but a lot of them reproduce other work. And I'm not saying copyright infringement stuff. But what I am saying is they sell these um, for art or to wear on your body. So if you want to put it on a rock and paint it, why can't you do that? And if you change it, what is it, more than 20 or 25 percent, I think legally you can use it. That doesn't go for music though. Okay. I'm going to change these petals here. I'm not change them. I'm going to put some foil on. <laughs> yes, we're changing them. We're adding some bling bling. But in no way do I claim this as my original artwork ever, never. Because I don't do original artwork. I do recycled, I guess. Oops, I am fixing to lose my battery. Oh gosh, guys. Please don't shut up. Oh, please. I think I saved it. If it goes off, I'm so sorry. I forget to plug it in. Okay, I'm going to grab this pedal here also. And these petals out here have like a, a an area around them, so I'm going to leave that part open.
I'm going to go ahead and do these since they're far enough apart. Thank you guys. Thanks, Shay and Teresa. Thank you. Hey, Julie, how's your baby feeling today? Daphne Randall, kiss your brain. Exactly. Yes. She is saying that they wouldn't put all of this stuff out there if we had to worry about copyright. <laughs> What'd you say here? Otherwise, our heads would spin if we had to think about every embellishment we use. Amen. Oof, you ain't kidding. And if you guys are wondering why I repeat things, it's because when this posts to YouTube, they don't get to see the comments because that doesn't copy over. So they hear me talking to myself <laughs> pretty much. And yes, while I'm crazy, I'm not that crazy. So I kind of try to every once in a while throw in a comment so they, they get me. You feel me? I ran out of glue in the dish. I'm just trying to, I'm being lazy. Okay, so we're doing all of these outer leaves here, petals. <laughs> I'm going to give this a quick torch because I see bubbles and bubbles. Now, when you're working with a tattoo, be careful because you will melt it. Okay. All right there. Okay, I'm going to give this a cure and I'm going to use this one on the front part since all won't fit under there. Look, it's neon so it's glowing in the black light. <laughs> I love the neon paint. <laughs> this is so bright. Hi Kathy and Terry. Which one now? Because I changed, I think, this one. Or honeycomb. Ooh, let's do some honeycomb. I'll do them both. We'll, we'll 
mix it up here. Start that one that direction. Okay, if you guys come across this, I didn't cure my foil well enough, and you pull up your foil and it doesn't, nothing stays down and it's kind of gooey. And if they're transparent like this, you can cure right through your foil. Two nights in a row, that means I'm going too fast. See, now it comes right off there. And then I'm going to do this one here. Pretty. You know, I just... Might be easier that way and then they don't get stuck all on each other. So we shall see. Sometimes it'll transfer on top of the ones we've already put on. So let's hope that doesn't happen, but ha, <laughs> nice. Good combo. I get lucky every once in a while. <laughs> little touch-up fork here in between our petals and since it's a tattoo there's some shading and stuff in there you can put that back in um, and I just use little lines actually I have a better pen maybe if it'll write on the glue I don't know we'll see here no nope, it's too pointy that's a very fine point pin Anyways, I'm just going to use some dots and add back in some of this detail that the flowers are hiding now. There. And uh, a little here. And there's some here. Whoops. Oh well, I'm drawing outside the lines. That's okay, right? Color outside the lines. Yeah, I think we got all the shading put back in there. Pretty. What should we do in here? I know. Rhinestones. <laughs> that would be a lot though, huh? To do the each. How 
However, See the fun box that we had last night. Good night, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to add a rhinestone in each of these petals. Or whatever they are. <laughs> So, can you see that? I think I might grab the color shift paint actually and because I feel like something's missing in here and add some in there. Hi, Bambi. Okay, so all of those are in there. I generally wait to do this until I have put the resin on. But I wanted you guys to... <laughs> snap! That's terrible. I want you guys to see the rhinestones in action. I don't know if I'm going to resin tonight. I'm just testing. Yes, gosh, it's so fast. They are rock solid in there. That's another thing. Um, yeah, was it Tur who was just telling me that Daphne or that you can't put yours out if they have embellishments on them, which I understand about wildlife. So if I ever do put something out, it is resined for sure. But generally, these are not outside rocks. Correct.
Okay, I have this gorgeous. <laughs> no, it's huge. This is huge. Like a mag. Are you asking? Wait, this. Wait, is this a magnet? It's a UV light. Is that what you were asking? Jennifer, you didn't realize this was going live? I know. It's a thing I'm dealing with right now. I have to make a decision. If I tag you guys, I can't put it on YouTube later. If I don't tag you, then it belongs to me and I still own it and I can put it on YouTube. I don't know what why that is. but So every once in a while, I have to keep my YouTube channel populated. So, um, no tagging sometimes. This is the Naturalist Holographic Sparkle Paint, which I need to order a bottle of. Oh my gosh, this stuff is great. I'm changing brushes. <laughs> I need a liner brush. Um, here we go. Oh, I missed it. Um, what was the question? Sorry, I missed the whole question. It looks like Julie may have got it. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. Um, this comes in, a, I believe it's a two fluid ounce bottle when you buy it it might not be that big I'm not sure of the size of the bottle because I only have a sample but from naturalist paint company <laughs> ooh that's so pretty can you see that that's sparkling paint what paint does that, right? Watch, it's hollow, can you see it? Now that is some holographic paint. Hands down, that wins in my book. <laughs> oh no, Teresa, you can back out and come back in if you can't hear me, but now you can't hear that. Can somebody tag Teresa and tell her to back out and come back in? Let's see, I have some two other samples over here of their color shifts. They're not the, the big ones. These are like the interference. Um, see that? Pretty good shifting though gold green. Let's use that one. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm going to stir it up. Ooh, I feel bad too late to the game. I should have tagged a few people anyways, huh? <laughs> See, if you guys tag people, uh, I don't get penalized and it's weird because it's not every time but I think it has to do with the privacy settings in the group because it's a private group so if you tag people um, then they expect it to be private and I get that so mm, let's do this one
So this one, oops, the name is covered up. I'll let you know what this one is in a minute. Gold green. And I believe these are the color shifts. And I will show you that shift just a minute. I love that you can be heavy handed with these paints and they just are gorgeous. I definitely have to save my money for these for sure because they're very expensive. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> they're like highly expensive. Okay. Gold and then green. It's pretty. What's this other one? It says green, blue. It's kind of a clear. So I think it's an interference paint. Like if it were to go on black, it would be like a totally different color. It's so pretty and pearly. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of like paint porn, huh? I said that last night too. It's terrible, but it is. It's really satisfying. <laughs> Shame on me. Should I do it this one? <laughs> See, I'll put it on the outsides here. Ooh. Does it show up in the... I don't think it shows up on camera. It might over the black, though. Okay, I'm having an idea here. We'll just accent with it. Cool. Okay, I'm going to cap these. I'm going to pop some rhinestones, <laughs> more rhinestones in there. Just little bitty ones. in the
I have these little tiles. They're little bitty squares. They're gold though. I'm thinking. Mm -mm. Let me see here. I think I might put some around that. Yes, I think so. But I need to add some stuff. Who's the kitty? <laughs> Thank you, kitty kitty. Meow. Okay, so these are, I don't know if you can see them, little teardrop gold sequins. And I'm going to point them, which way should I point them? I'm pointing them in. Can you see them? Right here. Out. Okay. I'll point them out. <laughs> Thank you. See, UV's good. I didn't do it yet. Wait, point them out, right? Yes, um, these came separate. Um, these, all these ones like this came in a big old mix thing. There's like six or nine of them. And it's not crazy expensive like you think. I think it's under $10. If not, it's definitely under 15 Wait, did we say point out or in? Oh dear. I'm going to, I think we said out. Is this out? <laughs> okay, let me show you. That's out, right? This way? Boy, what would I do without you guys? Hang on, I'm turning on the flash. Well, that doesn't help much, but it sure does light up the hollow, huh? I don't know what's up with this focus business. Here, I gotta dump some of these out. Hopefully I have enough. They're very staticky. Okay, this should go fast now that I've got myself set up here. Focus, camera. You know those diamond paintings? Who does those? Bye, Julie. 
Thanks for hanging out as long as you did, hun. I know you're on vacation. I sure do appreciate you being here. That's huge support. Thank you. So, do I drive you nuts? <laughs> Say, let's see. Jennifer says she does do the diamond painting. And I'm so not like... Yeah, I'm probably driving nuts, huh? Do you have one of these tools? You probably have really good tools, huh? Uh, Daphne, this is a wax tip um, rhinestone picker. This end, it usually there's like this putty stuff that you can pick up. It has like a hollow end to it. Come on, focus. <laughs> I can't make it focus, but there's a hollow end to this pen. There you go. And you can plug, take plugs of uh, putty out of it that helps you pick up little baby rhinestones when you're working on those rhinestone paintings. <laughs> Anyways, this end picks up rhinestones. Just, I like this end. I don't need the putty on the other end. But when you're using it over and over and over and over and over, I think that makes it easy. I don't exactly know why. I've never done one of those paintings. Maybe Jennifer can tell <laughs> tell us about what that is about. Jennifer White, take it away. Hi, Sybil. So this is two days in a row, guys, that I have put like massive rhinestones on, on a project. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, I guess I'm feeling it. It's like I have so much stuff and I never use it. So I'm trying to incorporate Trying to use my stuff because I keep getting new stuff and not using my stuff. Do you guys have this problem? Ooh, that's smart. Jennifer uses the putty, poter, poter, poster putty to, to, for her rhinestone picking. That's pretty cool. We're coming around the corner here. Yay. These ones are not straight like the other side. That means if I could straighten this out a bit. This is hard. How do you keep it all straight? <laughs> 
So my idea here tonight with the tattoo and the mixed media and everything is to remind everyone that um, there are massive shortcuts. That's my middle name, Wanda the Foil Lady Shortcut Person. <laughs> Shortcut, middle name, yes, that's me. Look at that. That turned out gorgeous. So it can just be layers and layers of stuff, you know? That up later. Okay, down here, I think I'm gonna do transparent foil, special foil, Wanda foil. Who knows what Wanda foil is? It's this pretty stuff. Oh my gosh, it's the gorgeous stuff. So, <laughs> my box, the box I have left, I didn't even roll it up yet and put it in my box because all of the rest of it is all gone. All gone, every bit of it. So, I want to use some of this one. Thankfully, it's right on the outside. And this is totally backwards. Generally, I would do all the foiling first and then, or paint first, then foiling, then rhinestones, but I'm all over the place here tonight. <laughs> so I have some glue, nail foil glue out still. And I'm doing this area down here. Oh, I need to cure those. Hold up, just a minute. Bondic. So I will be painting on the resin very carefully so that I can still have facets in my rhinestones. If you're gonna put on your rhinestones and stuff, it's way better to do it on top of your resin because your resin will essentially remove the facets in the rhinestone because it bonds to them so the cuts aren't noticeable anymore they'll still be there but they won't be you know all pretty sorry for the bounce do you guys get dizzy <laughs> bounce bounce you know, somebody needs to make a really good uh, arm camera holder thing with no bounce that you can move up and down, in and out. I know I should use some sort of actual camera, right? <laughs> with focus. Yes, I'm not professional, so I don't know all that stuff. <laughs> I don't even know how to use a camera, let alone try to figure out how to focus you know, in and out, zoom, I mean. So you guys see how I zoom in and out. I grab the camera up and down.
Hi Marie, if you're still on. Sorry I didn't see you there. Hi Marie and let's see Bambi and Allison and Jennifer and Judy. Hi Judy. So I'm just using the Torch 12 LED to cure the nail foil glue so I can apply this one on it. And bling bling. And I'm going to do it in two sections here. Being careful because my paint up there is still wet. Because <laughs> I'm crazy and I did that. The good thing about these foils is they're very forgiving, so you don't really have to worry about any holes or spots. See, it didn't even all transfer, but you don't have to worry because it doesn't show. That's why. These are my favorite foils. They're great for learning how to foil. Very forgiving and super gratifying. that and voila see you make your own foil with these foils any color you paint on any color you want basically you can add this foil to the top of it and then you have your own foil see if you move it over any color so up here I'm going to grab get off me see there's the static Get off Okay, these are Color Shift. Absolutely love these paints. I've got uh, Blue Flash, Aqua Flash, Orchid Flash, Pink, no, Purple Flash today. I just grabbed four off the wall, but I'm just going to kind of blend them around up here. So I'm just going to take the lids off and use the paint from the lids. <laughs> that foil. I walk around with foil attached to me. Are you guys talking about the shell that I did yesterday? I don't even know where I put that. Okay. So I'm rethinking my paint out here. I'm going to just add this purple flash here. And then when, on this part, I'm going to let it kind of graduate into the gold at the tips. Aqua flash. Ooh, 
my brush is wet. Also going to use this aqua flash right around this rim here. Okay, down here, Orchid Flash, which is like a pink with a gold flash. I'm going to use that on this part down here. I got one mixed up flower, huh? <laughs> I don't follow rules, so just make it your own. It's pretty much my philosophy. Some of that blue flash in here. You can paint right on top of foil. I'm not covering up all of it, just some of it. And this paint is transparent, so it's nice. You can see through it. You can see all this detail work in here. And I'm just going to kind of do a shadow in in this shadow flower back here. I always like contrasting colors against each other. <laughs> it's like I put the gold down here and the blue up there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Again, rule breaker. Purple and green together. Yep, that's me.
Okay, we are so close here. I found them. Oh my gosh, I was looking for these earlier. All right. Bondic, where are you? So up here, I'm going to add get tall. This guy here. I like that one there. Like that. Ooh, pretty. And then these are long, um, like teardrops, but they're I'm thinking in here. Few minutes. See, it makes kind of a flower up there. That's a butterfly. Look. <laughs> I don't know. But I like it, so. You know, I think my life has been changed by this <laughs> bondic. It seriously is so easy to get carried away with rhinestones. <laughs> uh, Deborah, of course, honey. Deborah loves butterfly. She's our group monarch mommy. Okay, let's see here. One more here, and that is that. Saving it for yeah, right there. Oh my goodness, Deborah has 62 caterpillars and you retrieved 31 eggs tonight. This might be your biggest release ever, huh? Pretty close. I'm 
I'm telling you, you gotta, I don't know if you're friends with everybody on here, but <laughs> you gotta post your butterfly movie, your, your own story on the, in the group. It's artwork. It is gorgeous. Okay, so at this point, I'm done. I'm going to touch up my black lines, which shouldn't be much. And I have some wet paint still, so there will be no sealing going on for a bit. So, let's see. Actually, I'm going to use black ink paint because... I keep ruining my Poscas. And I'm ruining them by dragging them through wet paint. So that isn't on me. That's my fault. <laughs> Anyways, I'm using a brush that has been trimmed down to like literally like three hairs. Can you see that there? It's the Rachel Mitchell uh, technique. So if you want to see how to make that brush, she has that on her channel, her special paintbrush tutorial, how to make her curved paintbrush. The ink is acrylic, so I added like a drop of actual black acrylic craft paint in there just to thicken it up just a tad so it'll stick to the brush. Yeah, much better, I think. <laughs> nope, it's still beating. Dang it. It's okay. And that's the bead that I didn't want. I'm making a mess here. Oh yeah, if I didn't tell you guys, look at these little gadgety swabs I got. <laughs> to clean up little scary messes. Or make them worse. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that.
uh, making sure the paint's dry there. <laughs> Whoops, don't paint your rhinestones. <laughs> well, that wasn't good. You guys can see that my lines are not very straight but when you have it all done it doesn't matter not really <laughs> giggle giggle right <laughs> honestly on these tattoos the lines are so it they really aren't that's not the focus so your eyes will be pulled to different areas. I think... Turn the flash off so it's not so blurry. Thanks guys. I had so much fun tonight painting with you and hanging out and chit chatting again and catching up. So I don't know what to name this. Anybody got an idea? Very busy lotus flower. <laughs> Yay. Happy Sunday guys. I will see you tomorrow. Ta-ta.